Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this card using the latest Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit. I hope you'll stick around, see how I made it, and maybe get some tips along the way. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. This month, I'm so excited to be a guest designer for the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit. I already shared the unboxing last weekend. I will link that video below if you want to check it out to get the details on everything that came in the kit. And today, I'm going to be creating a quick and easy card using collection number one, which is called Tropic Vibes. Once I start the process, I will go to a voiceover. So if I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Let's get crafty. To start this card off, I chose one of the papers from the collection. I just loved the flowers and the greenery on this. I cut this piece to four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall so it would fill the entire card front. Now I do want my ephemera to stand out from that background a little bit, so that is why I am using vellum. I cut the vellum to three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall, and this will just get centered on the card front. Next, I got out my Misty in case I need to stamp my sentiment twice, it will be in the spot I need it. And so I knew exactly where to place my sentiment, I went ahead and just laid my Toucan Ephemera on that piece of vellum where I was going to adhere it later. Once I had my stamp in place, I picked that up with the door of my Misty and I inked the stamp up with stays on. Now the reason I use stays on is just because this vellum is kind of slick and it's not really porous to soak in other inks. So I stamped that. It actually turned out great the first time, so now I could move on. This card was so quick and easy to put together that I hope you did not blink during this process video because you might have missed it. Everything was ready for my card so I could start putting this together. The piece of pattern paper got adhered to the card front and then I used some foam dots to place my toucan onto the vellum piece. So that I would know where I could hide my glue dots later, I went ahead and put three of those pretty pink enamel dots onto the vellum piece. And then I turned it over, got out some mini glue dots, and I added one behind each of those dots. I did go ahead and bring in my Scotch ATG to add some extra adhesive behind where the toucan would cover it up. And here is a look at the quick and easy card. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made today's quick and easy card. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.